Hello, my sporting bad friends, how are you? I'm in a cosy little hotel near Gdansk, where Spain will play later against Italy this afternoon. In fact, let me show you, because the decorations are lovely. It's like a little Roman palace. See? And, see that thing there on the floor, it's not a snake, it's actually a miniature train. So that reminds me that the Spanish Federation actually got to Iniesta a miniature cha train for his bedroom because they heard somewhere that he's into that. And while others may got cards or dominoes or whatever, he got a miniature train. See, the Federation looking after our players, so they're happy. Anyway, big games taking place in the next uh, 24 hours. Uh, let's talk about Spain, about Ireland, and about England as well. Starting with Spain. Jochen Cruyff says of uh, Italy, the rivals today for Spain, that you look at them, and that could, that could be true in any tournament really, you look at them and it's like nothing to scare you really, uh, and nothing to actually beat you, but then they go and beat you. And those are the kind of defeats that, uh, that affect the side. Uh, Spain are favourites, uh, Spain don't want to lose this first one. You've seen throughout the tournament already the fear of losing as uh, gripping the sides and, and the way of playing. And even though Spain has got a, a way of playing that may suggest there is no fear because they're going to be on the offensive, they're going to pressure high up, etc. It is about not losing this first game. It was a big scare in the World Cup when Switzerland beat us 1-0. After that, of course, uh, they, they, they went on and win it, but it's not a very good way of, uh, of starting. And of course, uh, this is a game that neither Italy want to lose. And if they lose, and even Spain lose, then they've got Croatia and Ireland that both of them should be able to beat, you would think. But it's important that uh, it's not a defeat here. And because of that, because of the way both teams defend, which is extraordinary in different ways well, as I'm saying Spain defending high up but Italy uh, you just consider two goals in the ten games of the, uh, of the qualifiers and forget the friendlies because uh, they haven't uh, done very well including the defeat against Russia 3-0 but only because of the um, experiments that have been taking place in the side uh, it looks like it's going to be a 3-5-2 uh, formation for Italy let's see how uh, the full backs or the, or the wing backs if they actually one forward or the stay back, uh, but Cesare Prandelli keeps saying that they're not Catenaccio anymore, that they actually defend high up. That's what you have to do with Spain generally, but let's see if that is exactly what they do, because Spain sometimes forces you to defend deep. If um, Spain will have chances, let's see who's up front, and that is one of those things that nobody has, uh, knows for certain. It's going to be a number nine, it's going to be a striker, but will it be Negredo, who look favourite to take that job? Uh, until about a couple of days ago, or will it be Torres, who seems uh, confident and smiling and enjoying himself, sharp again, and may have just taken advantage from Negredo for this first game, because it's Italy and because it's the first game. Uh, nobody knows, and nobody will know until about an hour and a half before the game, so if I hear about it, I'll, uh, I'll let you know in my Twitter account. Uh, so that's one I think is going to be a draw. A nil-nil, 1-1, uh, I've got the impression that that's what may happen. Uh, secondly, of course, uh, Ireland will play then Croatia, and I'm convinced that this is the game where Ireland put on the table the possibility of going through. It's like, there we are, we beat you Croatia, and after that a couple of draws, and I can see how they can draw against Italy, uh, may lose against Spain anyway, but four points may actually get them through. But in any case, this is the one where uh, following, uh, being loyal to the uh, Trapattoni way, it will be defending deep and counter-attack, but that can harm Croatia, which is a very irregular team. Sometimes they play really, really well, sometimes really, really bad. Everything goes through, uh, through Modric. Let's see if, if Luka is, uh, is actually fit. But generally, you would think that uh, uh, in terms of individual quality, Croatia has got more. But in terms of a team, I think Ireland have got more. I can see how Ireland could concede, perhaps, but score the two goals that will get them to a 2-1 victory and advantage towards Croatia anyway to go to the next round. I think that that's what may happen. And it will be great to see uh, Ireland with the um, uh, funniest, anyway, uh, and, and heavy drinkiest uh, people in the tournament so far uh, to go through to the next to the next rounds. And finally, England, France. Difficult one, huh? Uh, France, no doubt, individually have got more quality than, than England. Uh, but I trust 
one thing that Roy Hodgson is doing, which is he knows the limits of the, of the national team and he doesn't want them to become something they're not. So forget about so much possession, forget about uh, basically dominating the game and you will see uh, an England that will be very direct and it's the kind of thing that hurts teams. Uh, even long ball if necessary, uh, wide players crossing the ball, long ball sometimes who uh, Welbeck or Carroll if intervenes later, or Carroll used uh, in the last few minutes. All in all it would just be a, 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 a counter-attack in England which I think that's what England has been for the last 30-40 years since I remember anyway. So should be nobody should be uh, ashamed of it. Uh, it is what uh, suits the pace of some of the players and it is what suits the uh, the style of, of again, uh, the likes of Welbeck, Manchester United, can be a control second team as well, uh, Ashley Young as well. Uh, so, all in all, uh, they can, they, you know, at the end of the game, you may say France had more chances or had more of the possession, but to be honest, England just defended relatively well and scored, and that's why they, they won the game because I think they may win. I think this is three points for England and. I'm sure if that happens, the twist in the mood of everybody in England will change and all of a sudden you'll be talking about winning the tournament. We'll see if that's the case, but in, an, in any case, just to actually beat France in the first game will definitely help everybody's confidence and, and as I'm saying, atmosphere and, and mood and belief. So, how about that? Spain, Ireland and England to win in the first game. No, 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 no. I should go back to that. Spain to draw and Ireland and England to win. That's more like it. Okay. Talk soon. Bye. Bye.